The world is in a very, very treacherous place. I want to share with you, I want to share with you what Christopher Ray, the head of the FBI, had to say. He's actually worried about Hamas-style attacks here in the U.S. And, uh, well, of course, why wouldn't you be, given that who the heck knows who's in this country, ladies and gentlemen, the board's been wide open for two years plus. By the way, this is what Donald Trump campaigned on, remember? And now we've learned that Hamas allegedly, with Iran's help, according to some sources, including, by the way, a fantastic report in the Wall Street Journal, had two years to work on this. Uh, two years with a wide open border, right? Here's Christopher Ray today. Watch. In this heightened environment, there's no question we're seeing an increase in reported threats, and we've got to be on the lookout, especially for lone actors who may take inspiration from recent events to commit violence of their own. So I'd encourage you to stay vigilant because as the first line of defense protecting our communities, you're often the first to see the signs that someone may be mobilizing to violence. I'd also ask you to continue sharing any intelligence or observations you may have. And on our end, we're committed to doing the same so that together we can safeguard our communities. Yeah, you think, you think. I'm glad someone's talking about this now because we've been living with this wide open border and apparently it was just oh too prejudiced of anybody to say, hey, maybe you ought to close it up. And after all, you know, the libs, they had bigger fish to fry. They had to go after all those people that voted for Donald Trump, all those MAGA deplorables that needed to get deprogrammed, right? Remember, this is Hillary Clinton literally just days ago, like within hours of that attack heinous, horrific, barbaric terror attack in Israel. Hillary Clinton's going on about all those Trump people needing to be deprogrammed. This didn't age well now, did it? Go to mesobook.com. We're back now with okay, more of Christiana. I'm, I'm of course, exclusive sit down interview so with Hillary Clinton and her outlook on a potential rematch between Donald Trump Christian and President Obama. Poor. Let's go to the meaty part. Here we go. When climate change and the economy and taxes but there wasn't this little tail of extremism waving, you know, wagging the dog of the uh, Republican Party as it is today. Mm -hmm. And sadly, so many of those extremists, those mega extremists, um, take their marching orders from Donald Trump, who has no credibility left by any measure. He's only in it for himself. He's now defending himself in civil actions and criminal actions. And when do they break with him? You know, because at some point, you know, maybe there needs to be a formal deprogramming of the cult members, but something needs to happen. And how do you do that? Because you said you have to defeat them by defeating their leader. Their leader right. is Donald Trump. So that's not a joke. Like, she's not laughing. Nor is Christiane Amanpour. She's not laughing either. They think the biggest threat to America, or at least Hillary Clinton does, is in fact these, these MAGA people. You know, half the country that voted for Donald Trump. I'm sorry, but we got, we got bigger things going on. And we've all been saying this right from the start. And yet it's been ignored. It's been ignored because somehow systemic racism and not allowing enough people into the country over that border and not being accepting of the trans community enough. These are the things that have been motivating, shall we say, the likes of the libs, the ultra libs, and it's all backfiring. Hey everyone, Trish Regan here. If you enjoyed that clip, please do me the favor of subscribing to the channel. Just hit that little subscribe button right over there. Did I do that right? Uh, not quite, but you know where it is. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so that you get the alerts, and I'll see you back on the show.